It's about time to share what I've done with the Heartfelt Gestures Challenge, where I tried to complete seven pages before Valentine's Day. Well, today is Valentine's Day, and this didn't go as planned. But the good news, I've got some color on the pages, so they're currently a work in progress. But I do think I can finish them by the weekend. Oddly enough, the reason why I didn't finish my goal is because I was helping a friend had a loss in the family. So the heartfelt gesture actually happened in real life. But the good news, this will give me some more time because then I could get your questions about the work in progress pages. So my new plans is to complete the pages while I video record them. So let's go ahead and check out what I've done and my current plans along with some art supplies I'll use to finish them. The first page is from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Bassford. This is the one I called Heartfelt Visits. I think I'm good for most of this page, but I do want to use like maybe a stencil for some brick or wood to make a home in the background where Ivy is. And I also want to add a background around the edges. The second page is from Nice Little Dragons by Tatiana Bogima. I called this one Heartfelt Nurtures. This one needs a lot of work. I haven't done any blending on the dragon and I want her eyes to stand out a bit more. So I might add some eyelashes with a fine liner. I also want to figure out how to make a rocky background around her and then maybe in the back draw a volcano at a distance. This is all new to me so I'm going to have to find some reference photos. But I do love the colors here a lot. The third page is from Moon Valley by Maria Troll, which I called Heartfelt Embrace. This was the most difficult page for me because I wasn't able to use blue or purple because I wanted to challenge myself with it. But I really love the way this is coming along. I think I want to use a darker color for the grass below, then I need to blend out the deer's fur and the sky, and then I should be able to call this done. The fourth page is from Grains of Gold by Hannah Carlson, which I called Heartfelt Companionship. This one actually was another challenge. I wanted to have her look timeless, and then I kind of wanted her to look mortal, and then I was like, but wouldn't it be kind of cool? I haven't seen that many pages with her looking futuristic. And really it comes down to, I've seen a lot of completed pages of this one. So then I just started to consider, what have I not seen yet? So that led to this because I haven't seen her look ethereal yet, and I haven't seen a completed page with a snow leopard cat. I do think this is coming along fine. I wish I knew how to make his fur look a little better. His bow needs to be like colored in a little better, maybe a little bit more blended in. Maybe I'll even use acrylic paints or some paint pens, but I do need to take some acrylic paint for her jewelry and then blend the background as well. And maybe her hair too, I'm still kind of considering that one. The fifth page is from Victoriana by Ellie Marks. I called this one Heartfelt Conversation. This was an absolute joy to color. I love this brown pecan color from the Evazar London pencil set. It just really looks so beautiful against the teals and the blue and, and then like this pastel, like what color, maybe this rose color that I have. Yeah, I love this. I wanted to make her take the whole scene though with her modern outfit compared to everyone else here. So to finish this, I think I just need to blend everything, maybe add a blender pencil or solvent. I need to color the dog in. I think I want to make him black and white, like with a, even like a circle around his eye, kind of like a cute little patch on his eye. And then I want to take some jelly rolls to make a vibrant colored parrot. And then maybe some jelly rolls or some kind of paint pen around the cage. But I really love this scene so much. It's just it's so beautiful. I also need to add some metallic pens around the different details on this page. The sixth page is from Steampunk Serenity by Astor Lynn Graceville. I called this one Heartfelt Existence. This one needs a lot of blending to pop out some of the colors here. Maybe I'll even add in some fine liner, but I really like the way it's coming along. I may even add some white acrylic paint in some of the areas, maybe along the windows as well. The seventh page is from A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. This is the one I called Heartfelt Solace. This page is the least complete. I think I spent about an hour on it last night, but I really love the way it's coming along. I'll need to use some solvent or a blender pen in the background and then some metallic pins on the bars of the railing here. I may end up using darkish purple on her dress and maybe some hot pink around the embellishments of her lace, I think it's there. And then for him, I was thinking of dark blue and teal. 
I know a lot of the fan art for Tamlin in this book, they do a lot of greens. And so I think that teal and a little blue would be kind of close enough. And then I want to fill in her tattoos, maybe use some jelly rolls, and then I should just be able to finish the structures nearby and it, this one will be done. Well, that's where I'm at so far. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I may even answer them in the next videos that I'll have where I'm trying to complete each page. Thanks for watching.